So here are some of the important things to have when you have Invisaligns. We're going to go over each one of these real quick. And at the end of this video, I'm going to remove my Invisalign. A special request from Anna. So if you don't want to see that, you can skip the very end of the video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to talk about Invisalign travel bag essentials. For ladies, you'll have a little purse. For guys, you are going to have a man kit. Right here, a man kit. So links for everything I'm going to show you is in the description below. You can get from Amazon. You click the link, that helps the channel out if you buy something. So please consider doing that. Uh, I want to say that I've had my Invisaligns for six months now. I'm on tray 22, 22. I've had a little bit of experience with them. After you get your travel kit, let's see, you, you want to add travel toothbrushes. You want them small and compact. This one here is super nice. This is what I recommend. Uh, toothpaste, Sensodyne. My dentist recommends Sensodyne. So, I don't know, dentist recommended. Next, important, especially when you're new, uh, when you first get your Invisaligns, your gums are going to be sore. You're going to have a hook. I like to have a hook right here. It's going to rub your gums. You need gum wax. Buy this stuff. They never told me. My best friend Melwell told me to buy this stuff when she had braces. And uh, you need this. Just get this. Get this brand. I've tried other brands and the wax wasn't as moldable as this. And just get this. You need it. Oh, you need floss. You 100% need floss. I use floss sticks. Love floss sticks. If you hate the floss, buy floss sticks. You can sit there watching TV, floss your teeth. Floss sticks. Well, it does, probably doesn't matter what brand, just get them, put them in your pack. Next up, chapstick. I don't normally wear chapsticks, but a lot of people say they put chapstick in their kit, so add that to the list also. A mints, you want sugar free mints. These little mini Altoids, the little mini ones. Uh, this is called Smalls, get that. Also, Dennis recommended these mints. Sugar free, again from Amazon, you get like 200 and 240 mints in here. I don't know if you can see in there. A bunch of mints, buy these. These are great. Definitely recommended for Invisaligns. You got a lot in there. Uh, you're gonna need your rubber bands. I got my rubber band bag. There's like these in here. There's a hundred rubber bands in here. They gave me this little hook tool. Uh, it came with this little hook tool. You don't need that because after the first day, you'll just hook the rubber band on your hook, stick it to the back hook, and it, the rubber band will just roll off your finger. Every once in a while, you'll shoot a rubber band across the room. So, you know, that could be fun. You get cases. Invisalign sent me with home with two cases. So I got two cases. I got a red and a blue one. One for home, one for travel. Whenever you eat, lunch, dinner, you're going to have to take them out and put them in here. And at the end of the video, for Anna, we're going to take out the Invisalign. Uh, a little bottle of Advil is good. I find that um, when you change when you change trays, your teeth could be a little sore. And you might need a and it could hurt a little bit to eat sometimes. So you might want soft food. And Advil helps me. So I keep Advil also, just like a mouth cold sore thing, like oral gel. Uh, Cause you could get ulcers or kind of like, uh, like you could get like gum ulcers from your hook. I did, and this really helps too. So some of that's good. Uh, very important mouthwash, oral gel for mouth sores. Need that at the beginning. Colgate, that's nice. And act, this has got a good flavor too. It says brace, brace care. And since these are too big to put into my travel bag, I got these little bottles, a dollar each, different colors so I know what's in what. And these are in my travel bag too. So I've got three different mouthwashes. I don't need three. And these, these didn't have travel sizes. So I made my own and you can too. All right, what do we got left? Oh, something that's called a chewy. You put your braces back in, you need them to be really tight and snug. So you can buy these little chewy things, you put them in there, you bite down on them. It works, but do you know how my teeth are? I just kind of can grind my teeth together and it does the same thing as these little chewies. You need to clean your uh, Invisaligns. I do, I soak them. This is important. I have this little um, denture case. 
pretty cheap. Link is below. This is the denture cleaner I use. It's a little dusty because I've been using it for six months. This lasted lasted a long time. You get a lot in here. You get about six months supply in here. So these little tablets, you can break these in half too and make them last longer. Put them in warm water. Soak your Invisaligns in there. If you don't clean your Invisaligners, they will smell. Trust me. After even like a day or so, if you don't clean them, soak them twice a day, you're going to smell. People will be like, oh, they'll be like backing up. All right, guys, your Invisalign might smell because you're not cleaning them. You're not soaking them. Must have. This is a must. I, this is a must have. Wow. That went fast. I think that was everything I needed to. So to remove your Invisalign, Special request from Anna. I do my top ones first because I can do those with my finger. The bottom, I need this thing that's called an Audi. And I'll put a link in the description below too. And what I'm going to use is this little hook here on the bottom to pry the bottom ones off. They're on tight. Also, I'm going to have a video of uh, when you put in your new Invisalign, they can uh, rub your gums. And they're not always real smooth. They don't s smooth them or stand them out good. And I'm going to make a video on different ways to smooth off the or rough edges on your Invisalign. So be sure to subscribe. You're gonna to wanna to see how to do that. It makes a world of freaking difference. It helps a lot. So reach in there with your finger. Wash your hands first. You gotta to reach to the very back, the back corner, and pull down, and then reach to the other back corner and pull down. So you gotta release both ends, and then you're just gonna flip it out. So that was the back ones. I pulled down this corner, this corner, and then it just comes right out. And to put them in, it's just the opposite. Well, to put them in, you just shove them in and push up. And I push up hard. Or you can use a chewy. Now, the bottom, we're going to use this hook because my bottoms are on tight. I can get this side with my finger, but this side, I cannot. So. Reached in there. What happened? I reached in there. I'll pry that sucker up and it comes right out. It goes back in just as easy. Well, it goes in even easier. And that is it. So, hope that didn't gross too many people out. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe for my next Invisalign video. Post all your questions below. I still want to make a question and answer video on Invisaligns. Yeah, from what I know, for I'm um, wearing them for six months now. So, I want to hear from you. Please post in the comments below. Share, thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm done.